Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Today we will see dividend that is dividend policy decision. Are you perfect in capital structure? If yes, then we will go for this dividend policy decision. Remember always, shareholders will be getting dividend on their shares. Whereas the debenture holders are getting interest. Dividend is very important part. Why the shareholders are investing in the company? Just because of expecting of dividend. If dividend is paid properly, then automatically shareholders will be happy. And also shares value also it will be increasing because of the interest of these shareholders. So that is why dividend is important. But when to give the dividend, how much dividend is to be given? And all these things in depth we are going to learn in this chapter. What is dividend? A simple definition by ICAI. As per the ICA, Institute of Chartered Accountant of India, ICAI, one simple definition, one line definition, only very easy to remember. A distribution to shareholders out of profits or reserves available for that purpose. A distribution. Distribution to shareholders. What is distributing? Dividend. A distribution to shareholders out of profits. Every year profits we get. Out of the profits, we are distributing something or otherwise from reserves. Dividend has to be paid. So, whether it may be from the profits or if no profits, from the reserves. Okay. So, a distribution to shareholders out of profits or reserves available for that purpose. That is simple definition. Now, dividend, how many types of dividends are there that we will see? And what are the effects of dividend? That is also. First of all, let's focus on the types of dividend. There are five types of dividend. Types of dividend. Five. One, two, three, four, five. First one is cash dividend. Very easy to understand. Cash dividend means directly the uh, shareholders are expecting cash in the form of check. Not exactly the cash is counting and giving to them. No. Check will be given to the debenture holders. Sorry, shareholders. So, that is we call it as a cash dividend. This is always safe for the organization and also uh, debentures, shareholders and also shareholders they expect the same one only. If check is given any time they can encash it. Not like that because there is a proof also that is paid by the company. How much is paid? Dividend is paid to the shareholders. That is we can find out easily. So, that is about cash dividend. Second dividend is stock dividend. In some companies, rather than cash oblique check, they will be giving stock rather than dividend. Dividend directly, they are not paying through the check or cash. They are paying through the stock. Stock they are giving it. So, that will retain in the company itself only. In place of dividend, when I am issuing stock, automatically that will be replaced in the company itself only. This is quite safe. And it will be in the organization itself. It is nothing but just like uh, reinvesting in the company. Okay. Stocks they may offer as a dividend. Suppose say to a uh, shareholder, I have to give a dividend of 10,000 rupees. In 10,000 10, rupees, I am offering him stock. Yes. I am offering stock. So, stock means once again it will be in the organization itself only. Okay. That is stock dividend. Third one is bond dividend. In place of a dividend sometimes the company may give bond also bond means future anytime it can be encashed so it is possible where the company's liquidity position is not perfect right now we don't have liquid we don't have cash to pay the dividend then you better to pay the bond dividend bond dividend means it's return and that bond is given to the Shareholders, they can encash it or they can retain with them any time they can use it. That's about bond dividend. And fourth one is that scrap dividend. Script dividend. Script dividend means uh, in place of dividend, a company may give a offer of promissory note. In place of this, company may give promissory note. Promissory note means you have an idea. So, whenever I want to pay something, if I am unable to pay, I can give a promissory note after 3 months, after 4 months or any time, that person can encash. So, in that way, script dividend means promissory note will be issued in place of dividend. 
say 5000 dividend i have to pay i'm unable to pay due to uh, lack of cash due to liquidity position of the organization so script dividend i, I have gone means i can give promissory note something is written so that he can end cash later surety is there company is paying but not right now in cash form or check form that's about script dividend last one is property dividend this is not happening in india but in other countries some countries they are using it that's property dividend means in place of dividend they are allowing the uh, shareholders to take the property of the company some assets separately kept it so these are assets are us this property is us this place is us okay like some property a, a little bit portion of the property is offered to the shareholders in the form of dividend so this is also once again retained in the company itself only property we are offering it does not mean that the uh, shareholder is going to take that property and going to sell and then cashing and using it but he'll have that confidence that this is my property but not in india this is in other countries it is available like total five kinds of dividends are there we generally assume that a dividend paid means generally cash or check will be given to the shareholders but with this class you got an understanding dividend can be paid in different forms cash we can pay cash in the sense check stock we can offer bond we can offer script you can offer that's through the promissory note or otherwise property also we can offer as a form of dividend am i clear next determinants or factors determining dividend policy what are the factors are going to affect this dividend policy i want to pay the dividend but there are some factors which are restricting which are allowing so which are making effect on issuing or paying of the dividend so what are those factors or what are those determinants first thing is that legal restrictions company is in a position to pay very much interested to pay the dividend but there are some legal restrictions as per the companies act so that is to 2013 as per the companies act please remember that there are some restrictions that restrictions are going to stop to make the liberal payment of dividend so that is we say it as a legal restrictions are there and in the same way size of the earnings want to pay the dividend but size of the earnings earnings are less when earnings are less automatically that uh, company's dividend we cannot pay because a company is getting little profit because earnings as we are saying size size is less little profit they got it if they distribute all the profit to the shareholders then company will be in a tough position tomorrow if crisis comes who will save who will rescue so that is the reason they must be very careful and whereas on the other side you can assume that size of the organization is very big when organization is very big automatically their profits are good if their profits are good that makes that provokes that makes a liberalization to distribute the dividend to the shareholders both the ways you can see short or big organization <clears throat> next one investment opportunities and shareholders preferences it also depends on the investment opportunities <clears throat> company need <clears throat> one minute sorry investment opportunities company needs some more funds some more funds then rather than distributing the shares sorry the, rather than distributing the dividend so they can offer the shares as we have discussed here they can offer the shares also and at the same time shareholder preferences also would be considered company needs funds so instead of dividend we are issuing some more shares yes you can issue if shareholders are willing to buy and that is why it depends dividend is going to depend on the company's requirement of funds if they require funds don't pay them dividend directly just offer them some shares otherwise you can it depends liquidity position is good no need of funds then you can follow any method but when you want funds offer them right so these are the three another four we will see next one is liquidity position sometimes companies liquidity position uh, may not be good though the company is sound company is getting lots of profits 
कंपनी इज अ वेरी ह्यूज कंपनी मल्टीनेशनल कंपनी बट लिक्विडिटी पोजिशन इज रिक्वायर्ड टू पे द डिविडेंट इफ लिक्विडिटी पोजिशन इज गुड देन दे कैन पे द डिविडेंट डायरेक्टली अदरवाइज दे कैन फॉलो एनी मेथड्स लाइक स्क्रैप डिविडेंट और बॉन्ड डिविडेंट प्रॉपर्टी डिविडेंट एंड इवन स्टॉक डिविडेंट एनी ऑफ दिस फोर मेथड दे कैन फॉलो इट इफ द लिक्विडिटी पोजिशन ऑफ द कंपनी इज नॉट गुड right in the same way contractual restrictions contractual re restrictions means sometimes company is willing to pay the dividend as per the requirement company is willing to pay but at the same time they must follow the legal rules also loan restrictions are there loan restrictions agreement whatever is written that is applicable the company has to be very careful about uh, writing of the loan restrictions when they Uh, write the drafting of the loan restrictions at the beginning only so they must be very careful what is written will have to follow the same one only that is why contractual restrictions wanted to pay a dividend but that there is a restriction that is not allowing them so then controversiality it is next one management's attitude towards control sometimes management's attitude will be different management want to control the shareholders they they want to control the finance they don't want to distribute much of the dividend and declaration of dividend is depends on the management also sometimes they may or they may not so that is why dividend is depending on the management's attitude and also towards the control of the organization so if they feel that everything is fine we can pay we can attract and if we give the dividend then uh, the shareholders will be happy and the value of the shares are going to increase and whereas it's not required already the company shares are very high and shareholders will not feel bad at all and it doesn't make any difference in the feelings of the shareholders if that is the case management may stop the dividends management may declare less dividends all this depends so this declaration of dividends we are going to see in the next class types of dividends what types of dividend that will discuss, discuss right and right now you remember that management attitude towards the control of the organization and last point is that inflation inflation means prices are increasing when prices are increasing you if you wanted to pay dividend so that may affect in future when prices are continuously increasing it means whenever you wanted to buy the stock you wanted to buy the assets you wanted to buy the property for the organization everything is increased you got a profit it does not mean that i can distribute it in the form of dividend because you have to consider the inflation also inflation is there prices are increasing with that i i may not invest more i may not uh, utilize the prices uh, utilize the money properly everything is costly so in such cases you have to consider the inflation also inflation is how is the inflation increasing decreasing not much than distribute expecting inflation more then you need to be very careful like these are the simple factors which are making effect on the dividend decisions legal restrictions size of the earnings and investment opportunities and shareholders preferences liquidity position and contractual restrictions and management attitude towards the control and inflation these are the things and also today's work class we have discussed what is dividend we know it very well and the types of dividends also we have discussed right screenshot yes in the next class very important topic dividend theories structure capital structure theories we have learned in the same way dividend theories is also there so if you understand this then we'll go for the next one very important you need to be very careful and those theories are examination point of view important and also you need to understand stay connected check out the playlist don't forget to share this video good luck